This is kind of neat. I have an ESP32 microcontroller and a 24 volt AC like a thermostat transformer. I got I think it's better to run your thermostat on a toroidal transformer because it uh, wastes a lot less power. Like I tested this thing is like 83% efficient under load and the kilowatt says it's dra it draws 0 watts when it's not loaded. So, yeah, I think this is much better than the, the standard uh, thermostat transformers that you would typically see. But in any case, this thing's putting out, you know, 24 or 30 volts or something like that. And uh, yeah, basically I can feed the output of this uh, transformer. So the, you know, the yellow and green alligator clips are, are my 30 volts. Yeah, basically I just clip it through this uh, 10K resistor. And so yeah, that's the input to the optical isolator is a, it's 30 volts just going through a 10k resistor and i tested that this also works fine at 100k and 5k so i think 10k is a good middle ground for it'll draw it'll push maybe like you know a bit over like maybe two or three milliamps through the uh through the input of the opto isolator so yeah the actual isolator opto coupler whatever they call it is this uh SFH 620 AGB and you see it has diodes pointing in both directions so it's designed for an AC uh, waveform and then the output of this is just uh, it's basically just a switch that turns on or off so what I did is connect um, so this side connects to a uh, an input pin on the ESP32 set in pull-up mode so yeah, there's a built-in pull-up resistor that's pulling this to 3.3 volts, and this side connects to ground. So basically, when I run AC into the input of this thing, then this switch closes and it pulls the input down to ground. So this is an active low uh, ESP32 input. And the program I have here is... Yeah, this is just a really dumb demo. This is just a printf thing, but down here, yeah, it just sets the pin to input pull up and then does a digital read and then prints out the thing every 100 milliseconds. So if you look at the output of this thing, it's interesting that it started at one. Um, yeah, basically because I have the AC input connected here, it's spitting out zeros. And then when I disconnect it, it will go back to one. So yeah, I can just touch it and re release it. So yeah, that's a 10K resistor. Yeah, I think as long as I hold it solid, it's fine. But I imagine that uh, if I were to read it faster, I could probably get, you know, because the AC is going like this, and there's going to be points where it's actually zero volts. So I think you do want to be a bit smarter about how, like, you can't just treat it as totally digital. Like, I think I'm planning to run this at a faster sample rate and uh, kind of see if I can see the 60 hertz waveform. But, yeah, the point is, this is a certainly viable way to read a 24-volt, like, thermostat input on a microcontroller.